Greetings from Goblin Valley, Nissedal, Norway. I'm here, so you don't have to be. And today you are probably uh, happy not to be in my shoes because I have, have been wrong, 100% wrong about the theory on how air behaves in a chamber. How do I know? Well, I built myself one of these. This is a, uh, a, a mock-up of a um, RDA. I could, uh, by, uh, by changing the holes, using barrels, just a hole in the wall, uh, put some lights in, uh, simulate the conditions in, in what goes on in an RDA. Not one, but several different RDAs. I put the vacuum hose, uh, vacuum cleaner hose down here. This is the level where the air comes in and I could see everything in real time and I have a lot of footage to show you. Today I will also draw you a lot of drawings. We have not got much time but I will state this that uh, the flat wire coil uh, and my theory about how to wick and use cotton to sculpture the chamber might seem a hell of a lot more important than anyone would have guessed. So let's just go to close up. I will draw for you. I'll explain what's wrong and what's right, and we'll see live, uh, not live, but we will see real uh, footage in hyper slow mo uh, that explains uh, why not just me, but actually everybody has got this stuff wrong. Let's start with the basics and the stuff that really led me astray. It started with, uh, with uh, I saw slow-mo uh, footage from wind tunnels showing air coming in in streaks like this, bending around. I observed the Kuanda effect and I also observed that uh, depending on the speed uh, you had a certain amount of uh, turbulence in these areas. I also saw a physicist uh, um, explain uh, the flow theory in uh, chambers like so. That when a pump is pumping water or a pump is sucking uh, water out, the water comes in, uh, long arrows for, for high velocity, and then the velocity drops. And always when, when, when uh, fl uh, air and, and liquid are in contact with surfaces uh, exposed to friction, you will have turbulence in these areas. But basically everything follows the path, even though the pipe is uh, expanding at some point. The only thing that happens, the physicists explained, is that uh, the flow is slowed down when the chamber widens, but still follows this direction. Now, because of uh, that theory, this theory also holds true as long as uh, there uh, is uh, walls containing the liquid or air, it moves in a direction like uh, so. Because of drawings uh, like those and uh, the flow principles uh, that uh, when the chamber expands everything just slows down, uh, there are some people who think that the air goes like so and I thought that the air flowed like so and that's basically the main two theories and this gives you uh, the impression that a coil should be placed in this area and uh, the common sense uh, is that you should see the bottom of your coil when you look in through the air hole intake. 
this is my air chamber for the first video you are going to see I have a hole situated here just a hole in 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 this wall I have a vacuum cleaner hose stuck in here oh that should be uh, in red excuse me sucking air uh, like so and I uh, did uh, uh, produce a lot of vapor, a cloud of vapor just outside this hole and then I started my vacuum uh, cleaner and let's watch what happened. Now, nature abhors a vacuum. This is what we're taught in, in school, and this is indeed a lection on how, uh, how that works. So, what happens in the real world is... You have pressure from the outside, from the atmosphere, all around you like so and when you produce a low pressure system in this chamber these guys outside here they don't know that you are sucking because sucking is not a force there is no physical connection between this outtake, this drip tip, and this hole. These guys only know that there is low pressure here and they will fill it as fast as they can from every direction possible. This creates, as you saw in the video, a lot of immediate turbulence towards the walls. Then you have uh, the uh, because of the vector and, and, and uh, speed you get this jet going in. These guys don't care the slightest bit where you are sucking. They, it doesn't affect them at all. All these guys care about is filling this void and they do it as fast as they can. What happens next is turbulence. Turbulence, turbulence, turbulence all over the space. Until they sense the vacuum or low pressure in your mouth. Then this pattern repeats itself. They flow in from each and every possible direction to get to your mouth and your taste buds. That is what is happening because of this pressure. So if this is the opening, where do you put your coil? Should you follow the old wisdom of placing your coil like this? Let's watch a video.
when the coil was too high or too low, um, uh, you saw the too low uh, shot, uh, the, the same occurs. It is only when the coil is directly inside the hole you get this Kowanda effect. And this is just turbulence. This turbulence you want to avoid. So make sure build your cotton to this hole. That's to avoid um, uh, the uh, turbulence straight from the edges. You want cotton all the way and you want cotton up here and you want cotton, 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 all of it in order to push your uh, airflow in this general direction. Let's get over to the um, Pulse 22 from Wendy Wape. That is a very, very cool RDA. The air intake are tubes coming in like so. It is a Postless. It is a postless uh, deck here. Now the commercial tells you to put your coil here so that the air ca could come from both sides, hit it directly and circumnavigate it before escaping like so. My theory was that the air escaped like so which was obviously 100% wrong. I recommended that you put your coil above it but because of restrictions in, in uh, the, the roof of the deck is actually much lower, I had to put my coil somewhere around here. Now I have simulated uh, this um, uh, Pulse 22 by using a set of barrels that I put askew into my uh, uh, smoke uh, chamber, my vapor chamber. <laughs> And I have put uh, the coil at different places, so let's have a look. Now I must have taken uh, 20 shots uh, with the um, with the barrel uh, uh, pointed at my coil. Uh, I saw a lot of details that uh, will not show up on the video uh, that uh, that is going out, but I could study the high definition slow mo in in much greater detail than my, my crappy video uh, editor uh, will allow me to, to do. But uh, my, my main observation is that airflow should be directed 
uh, and I hit your coil somewhere around three o'clock or nine o'clock. So uh, the coil should be, I found out that I achieved the best flow around the coil when the top of the coil was parallel to the top of, of, the, of the barrel. Because when, when the coil was too low, I discovered a lot of strange um, turbulence and uh, recoils from the top of it. When I put my coil higher up, I started to get the flow here and I got a very, very nice flow around uh, underneath. The most important things if you have an RDA with a directed airflow that comes in from high up on the sides. Place your coil so that the top is at the same level. If it's one or two coils. And very often these have uh, uh, a lot of space uh, between uh, the coil and uh, the deck, even if it's uh, posts or, or postless uh, decks. So because the air intakes are so high up, please, please, please fill up this area with cotton. This is wasted space and creates only turbulence and inefficiency. More than uh, more often than not, you should uh, put your coil uh, high up and aim for that the center of the air intake hits at around three o'clock. The um, Kennedy simulation was very very fun to do and yielded a couple of unexpected results. As you know, the Kennedy, you have uh, the air go coming in through channels in, in the bottom, like so. And you have your coils somewhere. I'm not telling you where it should be yet. But somewhere uh, uh, along that line, and I, I was suggesting maybe putting the uh, coil to the side, and that's the advice and the placement a lot of people give you. Now we know that the air, because of its vector, goes like this and then in some degree spreads out and you have a little burst of turbulence off to the sides. So actually there is an optimal spot for the coil on a Kennedy. Let's watch the footage. So that leaves us with uh, the final answer to this riddle. Put your coil here. That's my answer. Not inwards, not outwards, directly above uh, the air intake and a bit distance from it. Use your cotton to screen off the sides 
as I've already uh, talked about. These are your coils, the air duct is directly beneath it and use your cotton like so from both sides and fill this space with cotton. Yes, you do not want the turbulence go like this. You want a channel of air going up through your drip tip. Our next patient is the big Buddha or the temple or any sort of RDA who has several tiny holes on the side. It could be the troll, the Buddha, the temple. Um, and I made a huge uh, um, uh, paper cutout uh, and, and, uh, and I taped, I made a mesh of, uh, of holes and I expected honestly to see an airflow uh, just spreading out like if you had shot someone with a, with a sword of shotgun. This was what I expected to, 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 to see, uh, to observe. But uh, yeah, we got ourselves a little surprise again. Let's watch the footage. Now wasn't that really, really cool? I mean, the air just like fell in like this and went like this. I mean, it's, it's one of the coolest footages I've seen in a long time. Of, of course, uh, um, I'm having the higher resolution and, and, and a better quality video. I could see this so clearly and I also observed a uh, narrowing actually that uh, as if the the air uh, by going in like this continued and narrowing not widening that was a surprise for me so this tells you that the uh, coil on a, a Buddha or temple should not be placed close to the wall. It should not be placed anywhere above it. The coil on the big Buddha should be smack bang in the middle. And you know, that's kind of easy because this is the level of the tank. So if you can see the bottom of your coil just above the rim here, you're good. And as before, between the posts, put a pad of cotton like so and fill the cotton all the way up to the first hole and uh, go with that. This area you can't do anything about. Sorry. And here it is, science applied. This is uh, a Buddha 30mm RDA on top of my Smokestack Mods 12.6 volt MEC mod. Uh, the coils are 6mm in diameter. They sit flush with uh, the deck and, and the, uh, the air holes. Uh, these are 0 0.6 ohm and being flat wire and this being 12.6 volts we're talking uh, above 220 watts. This cotton should have been severely burned. But I've been vaping this hard uh, for one and a half day now and there is not a single speck of burnt cotton anywhere to be seen. I sculpted the cotton forwards uh, here and here to channel the air uh, in. I have uh, sculpted a piece of cotton uh, between the posts and there is an air gap under 
uh, to allow uh, turbulence to escape upwards between the posts uh, now. And uh, um, yeah, the the slightly brown tint on the cotton is uh, of course my e juice. Uh, there is uh, absolutely no discoloring by heat on the cotton anywhere to be seen. Yeah, this has been a far too long video already. Sorry for that. And I'm truly, honestly sorry for spreading misinformation. <sighs> In the world, there's too much of it already. Um, I will uh, post uh, a warning or uh, information about this uh, on, on my other videos. Uh, I consider taking down a couple of more of them. And, um, well, I... I just wish you could have seen uh, the high, uh, super high definition um, uh, footage on uh, on the um, on a big big screen and 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 the wave chamber and the flow and the uh, the beautiful Kuanda effect and and the little eddies and all the turbulence and stuff like that, but uh, I've seen it enough now. To, to know that it's not, it's, not, uh, it's not a question about how much you suck. It's about the pressure that's put on you uh, in, in both senses. So, I mean, I, I could have just uh, deleted my channel and, and uh, gone my merry way. But when I uh, saw... Um, um, so the problems occur. Uh, I had bur some burnt spots somewhere uh, on my cotton and I was very baffled by it because I thought I'd done everything right, everything fitted. I had my air channels uh, with the cotton and um, I had my flat wire coils, highly efficient. And everything sh should be hunky-dory. So I started my new investigation and when I found out I really made a blunder on, on this important aspect of physics. I was, uh, yeah, um, two days ago was not a very good uh, day for me. So I wanted to share, share this uh, with you and uh, um, I have done additional footage of other RDAs. I'm, I'm expecting a dead rabbit in the mail, uh, the RDA, not the poor animal and I have done a footage simulation of it so now I know how to build on it and I will clue that when I do my uh, own review of that uh, RDA. So I'm still here, I will not quit. Uh, we you know, we, we, we inhale nicotine, so no one will do research for us. We, we have to make our own uh, understanding of what we are doing. And uh, as, uh, as far as I have proven now, um, it's not a matter of where you suck from, but it's a matter of where the pressure is coming from and air unobstructed, given velocity, move in a straight line. And uh, we have seen it now. Do not place your coils um, above the air intake. It should hit the coil at 3 o'clock. If the air intake is above the coil, you should strike it at 3 o'clock. It's, it's that simple. And, and, and make air channels, make rivers of vapor inside your uh, RDA by using cotton. How does it vape? <laughs> Extraordinarily um, fantastic. The, 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 the flavor is so, uh, so it's so much of it. Um, 
and uh, yeah, this is this is this is pure joy now, and I I'm glad I found out of the, these things, and I hope uh, sincerely you can uh, forgive my biggest blunder yet. So, until next time, cheers. <laughs>